The Reliance Infrastructure Limited will be completely debt-free this year, and the government might sell majority stakes of the company, and it might be taken over by Hindustan Aeronautics in partnership with Dassault Aviation, which has offered 70% of Rafale assembly line with full transfer of technology to India. The Indian Air Force chief has been advocating for the purchase of 114 Rafale fighter jets, which will see the local assembly of 78 fighters while 36 will come directly from France. Dassault Aviation is willing to collaborate and offer some of the technology to India in the development of the 5.5 generation stealth fighter jet, while Safran and DRDO will collaborate to develop a new 110 kN jet engine. India had signed an 880 crore rupees contract with Israel Weapons Industries on 19 March 2020 to procure 16,479 Negev 762 by 51 mm light machine guns under fast track procedure, and as per latest reports, the Indian Army has received the first batch of 6,000 Negev light machine guns, and they have been shifted to a different location and is currently undergoing proper inspection, and the remaining 10,479 units will arrive by March 2021. The Indian Army requires an additional 23,521 units, which will be met by the Indian industry, for which the field evaluation trial will start next week. The Vice President of Boeing Defence India Michael Koch has said, that Boeing will deliver three P-8I long-range maritime patrol aircraft to the Indian Navy in 2021, and the Tata Boeing Aerospace Limited will start the production of six Apache helicopters for the Indian Army in the next few months, and after the initial manufacture of the aero structures are completed in India, the helicopters would be sent to the US for outfitting with electronics and other systems, and the deliveries will begin in 2023. The Gallium Arsenide Enabling Technology Center of the DRDO has established a Gallium Nitride Foundry, and the lab will start producing Gallium Nitride modules by 2022. Gallium Nitride has several advantages as compared to the presently used Gallium Arsenide, as it has a high power density, reduced size and long pulse capacity, due to which Gallium Nitride has become a strategic material, and this new foundry will help to develop these modules that will be used in all kinds of next-generation aircraft radar systems, long-range air surveillance radars, next-generation jammer, electronic warfare and satellite communication systems. BAE Systems has offered its 70mm laser-guided rocket known as the Advanced Precision Weapon System to India, and it will be available for display at the upcoming Aero India 2021. The 11 km range laser-guided rocket can be integrated on armed helicopters, and it includes advanced secret optics on all of its four guidance wings, which locks on the target from more than 3 km away, which helps to deliver a very high level of precision. The Defence Ministry has moved to acquire 14 acres of strategic land which is around 30 kilometers from the line of actual control, that will be used to establish a brigade headquarter, which also signals a change in the centre's stance towards developing military infrastructure and border areas. China has launched the second Type 54A frigate for Pakistan, as well as the third Type 75 amphibious ship in Shanghai, and the launch ceremony coincides with the completion of 70 years of China-Pakistan diplomatic relations. Iran is likely to be among a number of regional countries that will take part in the Indian Ocean region's defense ministers meeting at the upcoming Aero India exhibition next month which would be the first standalone visit by an Iranian defense minister since 1979.